it's Mark Lanner with your video thought for the day. Yesterday was Monday. And the video thought for the day was, how do you get ready for the week? What do you do at the start of the week? I had two of my good friends, Adam Wright and Jarrett Stevens, talk about what they do to get started for the week. And I was talking to Brent Johnson about this via text message. And he says, you know, since you gave how to start the week yesterday, maybe today you could do how to persevere, how to continue through the week. And I thought it was a pretty good idea. But I gotta tell you, I'm doing the video thought having just finished my exercise. And today's exercise was playing racquetball. Now, I don't know if you play racquetball or not, but one of the hardest things is to keep a good grip on the racket because you're using your wrist and you gotta have that grip or the racket will turn in your hand when you're hitting. And I thought, there is a Bible verse for racquetball that ties into perseverance and pushing through the week. It's found in 1 Chronicles chapter 15, verse 7. Now tell me if this isn't a great racquetball verse. It says, but you take courage. Don't let your hands be weak or your work shall be rewarded. Now that's a great racquetball verse. Don't let your hand be weak, your work will be rewarded. But it's a really powerful verse for you and me to sustain us through the week. Take the verse apart for a moment. Take courage. That means um, don't, don't just be courageous, take it. Take courage. Choose to do what you believe is best and right. You make that choice and you do it, even if you think you're not up to it. And when you choose to do what's right, even if you don't think you are up to it, then your hand, don't let it be weak. Go at it with all of your might. Go at it with the Lord's strength. And then your work will be rewarded you have no clue what you can accomplish in the hands of an awesome God if you will take courage, let your hands be strong, and your work will be rewarded. Now, you want to know who won? Well, I'm not going to tell you because I feel like that wouldn't be fair to my friend that I played but I'm sure if you know Louis Miori and you want to call him or text him or email him, he will tell you whether or not my hand was strong and my work was rewarded. At least three of the four games we played. More on this tomorrow. I got to go take a shower.